Hey, 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 my beautiful air signs. I'm about to get ready and do an air reading. If you are a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this reading is for you. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to tap in. Ask my higher self, the most highness and the master helping this sort of reading. Alrighty. Ooh, that wants to come down, but well, I'll let it, I'll let it stay split like that. And I'll read it for y'all in a minute. But anyway, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Empress energy. Okay, divine feminine energy. Somebody could be dealing with a karmic baby mother or a mother figure. Okay. This could be an older person, somebody older. We got Capricorn, Taurus energy here. Somebody could be committed to a karmic mother or baby mother. Okay. This could be a young earth sign. Okay, y'all resonate. So let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We got the seven of swords. Somebody is sneaky, deceptive. They can't be trusted. Okay. Whoever this karmic mother or baby mother is. Okay. Or this person who's committed to a karmic mother or baby mother. Take it out, resonate. Okay. And with the fool's card coming out in reverse, Aries energy, this is somebody um, who's scared to take a leap of faith. Someone could be uh, projecting doubt or fear into somebody to keep prevent them from starting a new beginning. We got the five of swords. This is somebody who is jealous, mad, envious of someone. Okay. Somebody who's been buzzing in somebody's ear. Y'all see that? How they buzzing in his mask of air and his head. He holding his head. His head hurt. He confused. Getting mad because or jealous because of somebody buzzing in his ear. Okay. We got the four of wands and the king of wands. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be somebody that is married. Y'all could be married to this person or this person is married to somebody else or y'all live with this person or this person live with somebody else. They kind of resonate. Okay. With the King of Swords coming out next, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Someone could be mad or confused about a living situation. About their stability. Trying to be strategic when it comes to their stability. We got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Someone's having a tower moment. And they're walking away. They're releasing. Okay. They're trusting their intuition. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. About a lesson. Taurus energy. When it comes to family. Or family dynamic. Okay. So somebody can have a family that lives with them, family member that lives with them, or somebody that they see as family that lives with them. Or they could be married, take it out, resonate. Okay, but trust your intuition, because somebody in this dynamic is untrustworthy. They mad and jealous. Okay, and the nine of wands here. Okay, I feel like y'all are feeling like a wounded warrior. The death card wanted to come out. I looked up all three, so I'm going to look. I mean, I'm going to take them, but I'm not going to take them. Take them. I'm going to look at them. I'm going to read them to y'all. Okay. So somebody is taking control of their life. They're listening to their higher self and um, their inner child. Okay. And they're healing. They're making change. They're transforming. Okay. Scorpio energy. Aries energy here. Okay. This could be a masculine energy or somebody's in masculine energy who's feeling wounded. Okay. Whoever this is, they've been watching you, learning, studying you. Okay. We got the strength card, Leo energy. Someone also could be learning their strengths, their weaknesses, doing their shadow work. That's why they're going through this transformation. That's why they're going through this change. Okay. There also could be an ending that's about to happen. Let's see, spirit. Yeah, with the devil card. Okay, somebody could be in their ego. They could be a masculine that's in their ego. Or very toxic. Okay, it has toxic attachments. It could be drugs, alcohol. Okay, addiction, obsession, possessive, gambling issues. They got to resonate. Okay. 
I want the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody going through a heart chakra awakening. Okay, but they're indecisive about having options that they can give their heart to, I guess. Okay, but this is somebody who's toxic. It's really giving this person needs to choose to practice self-love because they could be creating illusions in their head about being ready for love, but they still have toxic attachments. Okay. That they need to heal from. Yeah. Because whatever this is with the Five of Cups, it's causing disappointment. It's causing sadness. Okay. To an Earth Angel, Temperance Energy, Sagittarius Energy. Somebody's trying to alchemize some sadness. And it has something to do with a karmic. Somebody who's in their ego that they're learning about. They're learning that this person is a karmic, possibly. That's leaving them wounded. Somebody they can't trust. Somebody who could be trying to install doubts and fears from somebody from taking a leap of faith because they're mad about this person want to start a new beginning. About this person want to leave them out in the cold. This person could also be setting them back financially. They could be learning this as well. You know, somebody could be in a lack mentality. Somebody could be a gambler. Or they're bad with finances. Especially with the Seven of Pentacles coming out next. It's like somebody's invested in something where they're ending up in this Five of Pentacles energy. Like it's like their manifestations start to come into fruition, but them being connected to this, it could be a karmic twin flame. Okay. Or somebody could live with a karmic. Okay. That they are investing in, that they've been investing in, expecting something to come into fruition. But this is somebody who's in their ego. They're in a lack mindset. And somebody is learning this. Okay. We got the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Whoever this is can be in the public's eye, getting recognition for their hard work, their success, for being magical, for being attractive. Okay. And coming in fast is a new romance, a romantic gesture. Someone may want to do a romantic gesture for you. This is somebody who's been going within about this. Seeing that you are their wish fulfillment. Okay, but that's future energy, y'all. So let's see. For air signs, trust your intuition with the high priestess, Scorpio energy. There could have been a karmic who was trying to get you to not trust your intuition. Okay. About maybe moving on or moving forward. Okay. With the hangman at the bottom of the deck, this could be somebody who's trying to cause stagnation in your life. Somebody trying to keep you stuck. Okay, but I see you also getting a change perspective, receiving enlightenment, and um, you know, seeing something differently. And with the page of wands behind there, um, you also could be getting all these like new ideas, getting signs and synchronicities about some new ideas. And this could have something to do about a betrayal. So maybe you're learning something new. You're intuitively receiving downloads like fast. They're coming in fast. It's helping you to get a change of perspective. And whatever these whatever these ideas are, whatever these thoughts are, or whatever these downloads are, like these signs, the synchronicities that you've been getting, it has something to do with a betrayal. Somebody that y'all know y'all can't trust. Somebody who's keeping y'all wounded that y'all learning this. Now this could be somebody who, because you, you are the strength card, okay? And this person is the devil card. You standing in your power. This person is standing in low vibrational energy. Okay? And that's what's causing the lack for you. So maybe you could be having some financial issues. And if you're having any financial issues that you're trying to strengthen, like you're trying to build and manifest, there could be a blockage because of this karmic soulmate or karmic twin flame that you're moving on from. Okay, Queen of Swords. Yeah, look at you. Trusting your uh, discernment, using your intuition when it comes to moving forward. When it comes to moving on, you're turning your back to something. Okay, somebody can have, somebody can have locks. Somebody can have um, blue jogging pants on. Somebody can have ripped jeans on. A leather jacket, purple. White t-shirt. Okay, boots, like combat looking boots. Okay, a hoodie. We got the five of wands and it came out in a challenging position. I feel like somebody um, is leveling up. 
They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They just want to move forward. Okay. But then there's somebody who is stagnant and they're trying to cause conflict. Okay. For some, they can see you as competition. All right. Confirmation bird with the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. For some, this is family. If somebody sees his family, they're learning a lesson when it comes to their healing. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy Taurus energy right here. And they're releasing. Somebody's emotionally detaching from somebody who's causing a lot of conflict. Okay. It could be somebody in their family or somebody they see as family or have a family with. They're learning a lesson. Okay. About their happiness. It's like this person is choosing to be happy or wanting to choose to be happy. But somebody's trying to create doubts and fears in somebody to get them from making a leap of faith when it comes to choosing their happiness. That's weird. I see. But with the death card, Scorpio energy, something's about to end. Somebody's changing and transforming their life. Somebody could also be going through an ego death. Yeah, they're seeing more clearly. Whatever secrets or anything that was hidden is being exposed. Someone could also be receiving downloads in their dreams. Okay? And they're seeing the truth about possibly an ending. About something either needing to be end, needing to end or something that's about to end. Somebody's been receiving dreams, cancerian energy, the unconscious mind. Okay? Someone could also be seeing that somebody has been trying to um, place doubt and fear in them. And they're putting an end to that. They're seeing the truth that somebody has been trying to place doubt and fears into them so that they won't take a leap of faith to start a new beginning. 1155 is significant, which brings um, sudden change. Okay. We got the Ace of Wands. Okay. You guys are going to be starting a new past in the beginning. I also heard um, refrain from sex. So either you need to refrain from sex from somebody or you are refraining from sex. You're calling your power back from somebody. And with the page of coins at the bottom of the deck, this could be somebody that you were committed to. Okay, somebody that you've seen as wish fulfillment. But whoever this is, it was like they were juggling. So you chose to work on yourself, which started some type of an awakening for you. With the judgment card, Scorpio energy. And you're learning how to protect your energy. You also could be blocking somebody out. Like I said, uh, protecting yourself sexually from somebody. So y'all might not be um, no longer having sex with this person or you just refraining from it. Okay. So that you can get even reciprocity with the Six of Coins. You're seeing the truth that that's what you want. You want something that's going to be receptive where you're going to receive even reciprocity in a connection. And whoever this is, is giving, they, they lack. They lack. They cause a conflict. Could look at you as competition or be putting you in competition. You know what I mean? This is somebody who lacks funds. They could be out of work. You got the King of Wands. Every Leo Sagittarius. Okay. Someone's taking action towards a King of Pentacles, towards Virgo Capricorn when it comes to closing out a cycle. But the cycle is incomplete. So they haven't closed out the cycle yet. Or it could be this king of wands is taking the lead, stepping up by taking action, by becoming more stable, more reliable, so that they can give even reciprocity in a connection. Let's see this for air signs. Here. Ah, the magician card just came out in reverse. Somebody's trying to manipulate y'all sexually, mentally. So that you can give to them. Trust your intuition when it comes to this. Okay, use your discernment. I feel like your discernment is on point. Your intuition is on point. You've been seeing that whatever this is has been causing a lot of disappointment, a lot of sadness, maybe even, you know, got you feeling held back, stagnant, okay, feeling left out in the cold, or you could be financially burdened. That's because it's somebody that you're moving on from. This is somebody who's projecting lack onto you because they're in a lack mindset, jealous and mad because they see that you're wounded and that you're learning that you're, you're stronger than you really are. This is somebody who wanted to keep you in a wounded space. They needed you to be low vibrational and in this sad energy so that you wouldn't understand your power. You are an earth angel. 
but they wanted to have you feeling like you were in lack. You could also be a high priestess, a, um, a tarot reader, or very intuitive. And it's like, for some, this person didn't even want you to speak your truth. They didn't want you to speak your truth. They wanted to keep you silent. That's what this manipulation is about, too. But I feel like you speaking your truth anyway with the Ace of Swords coming out upright. You saying what you got to say. I see a conversation here and somebody said about somebody intuitively telling them they truth. Like they, they've been picking up stuff and whatever it is that they've been picking up on. They telling this person they truths and this person is mad about that because they, they're unable to manipulate somebody. And this is making things fair with a justice card at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. I feel like y'all are very fair. You're very honest. Okay. And that's why you have this new opportunity coming in for y'all. A gift from God. Something's being made fair. Somebody also could have um said some lies in court. Who did I who did I who did I channel that for? I can't remember who I channeled that for, but there could have been somebody manipulating a court situation, trying to lie in court or they were trying to manipulate a court official. Okay, I also heard investigated or investigation. So somebody could also be um, under investigation. If this is somebody who tried to lie on you in court or um, involve you in a court situation, things are going to be made fair when it comes to you on your end. Okay. I think that was water's energy. I think it was water's energy. So go check that out because... It, the justice card was in reverse for them. So it's not it's not going to win in their favor, but it's going to win in your favor. There's going to be a new opportunity for you, but the only reason why it's not going to work out in their favor is because they tried to manipulate either a court official or lies in court. Okay? And once you get this new opportunity, it's going to help you to move on, to move forward. Some of y'all may get a payment in court. Okay? And then y'all, when y'all move forward, y'all heading towards a soulmate. It's future energy, y'all. Y'all got a new book coming. Okay. And whoever this is with the Eight of Swords, they stuck in their head. Okay. They're mentally trapped. Mentally stuck. This is somebody who wanted you to be indecisive and not see the truth, but you're seeing the truth anyway. And this is what's helping you to distance yourself from this person. Okay. Or this person created distance between you. This is somebody who is in spiritual jail, but somebody might actually go to jail. Somebody might eat, might go to jail. I don't even want to say might. Somebody's going to end up in jail. Somebody's end up in jail. And that's what's going to create the distance between y'all when they go to jail. Okay. But this was somebody who was slow moving to give you an offer. Somebody who was in and out of your life. This could be a lover of y'all's. Gemini energy. A king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody who made a hasty decision. Okay. Now they feeling like the cycle with you was incomplete. Wanted to commit. Because they see that you, they wish fulfillment. But this is somebody who juggled. And you chose to work on yourself. Go through this awakening, Scorpio energy. And protect your energy and block this person out. Now this person has been meditating on the fact that they think that they your masculine. What? <laughs> this is future energy though, y'all. So y'all gonna release somebody now. Either y'all going to walk away from this person or somebody might end up in jail, okay? But take that high resonance. Let's check on the bottom top of this deck. We got resistance to change set in their way. Somebody set in their way. They're resistant to change. Capricorn energy. Okay? But somebody set in their ways. They're manipulative. Okay? They could be doing sex magic, mental magic. Okay, emotional manipulation. Yeah. We got depressed, stressed, and grieving. Somebody could be depressed, stressed, and grieving. Water energy. Oh, we. Capricorn came out twice. Y'all yeah, might want to check out Earth reading. Okay. Or maybe you have Capricorn in your chart. But that came out twice. Okay. You can be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see. We got Gemini. 
Okay. I don't know why I just heard narc. Okay, evil eye backfire. A narcissist tried to cinch out an evil eye. It backfired though. The fuck? <laughs> we got, I didn't expect to get caught up. Fake apology. Somebody didn't expect to get caught up. So they either gonna give you a fake apology or they did give you a fake apology. This is somebody who sent you the evil eye. They jealous and mad at you and mad at you. This is somebody who's resistant to change. Then we have positive and optimistic, but it came out in reverse. So this is somebody who might be pessimistic and negative. You are very positive and optimistic, but y'all could be dealing with somebody who's pessimistic and very negative. Okay. Give me a second, baby. Crazy read, y'all. We got, I'm, I'm codependent on this connection. I'm a chaser, anxious. Y'all could be dealing with either y'all are in chaser energy, y'all, or I don't really feel like y'all codependent on this person. I feel like y'all seeing the truth. I feel like it's this person. They could codependent on you. They could be chasing you, very anxious. Okay. We got, you're abundant, building generational wealth. You are abundant, 21, 21. You are building generational wealth. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, that was the same card. It just fell off the thing. <laughs> but y'all are abundant, okay? You're building generational wealth. And there's somebody who's codependent on you and this connection, okay? So they're going to chase you, okay? But they don't mean it's a healthy chase. This is somebody who's depressed, who's stressed, okay? Somebody who's been sending y'all the evil ass. We got, I want to know how you feel, reassurance. Okay, this could be somebody who constantly asking you, how do you feel? I want to know how you feel. 22, it's significant. Zero, 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 it's significant. Okay, that's because they're codependent on you. They need to know how you feel so they can manipulate your feelings. That's how. They, that's why they want to know 22, 11. 11, 22 is also significant. Somebody wants to know how you feel because they want to manipulate you emotionally. It's what's given. I would like to get to know you. But there could be somebody who wants to get to know you who feels like they can have an abundant connection with you. Okay. Somebody who wants to know how it is that you feel about them. Okay, they can see that you have somebody who's codependent on you. Somebody who's been chasing you. Okay. Let's see. You got tower moment. The divine is stepping in. The divine is stepping in for y'all. Okay, some type of tower moment is going to happen. So expect some unexpected change. Okay, expect the unexpected. <laughs> Let's see. For air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Spirit. We got letters C, F, I, L, O, R, U, X. Your initials. This person's initials. Take out resonate. Okay, first, first, middle, or last. I'm also hearing P, A. M. Okay. We got you will have a decision to make. You're gonna have a decision to make. 23 is significant. Okay. That's way too many spirit. But I'm gonna take the ones that fell on the floor. Ugh. We got going out on a date in cancer. There may be a cancer who wants to take you out on a date. Maybe that's a decision you're going to have to make, y'all. Somebody want to take you out. They want to date you. Okay. That's period. We got, I fear intimacy. And somebody could fear intimacy. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we got heart as cold as ice. Y'all could either be getting cold, going cold towards somebody. Okay, or this person is going cold towards you. Take it how it resonate. But we got out for revenge, seeing green, envy. Somebody's out for revenge. They seeing green. They envious of you. Okay. Your sex is healing. I'm addicted. Y'all sex is really healing. And whoever this is, they are addicted to it. Okay. They are addicted to it. Have a good day at work, baby. Love you. Okay. That's probably why y'all refraining from having sex from this person. They, they, they trying to, you know. Feed off your good good, okay? We got Scorpio. All right, somebody can have tattoos and piercings. 
It's the last one I'm going to take. Unexpected money. Y'all expect some unexpected money? I'm going to take this one too. You're an empath. Trust your intuition. You are very intuitive. Okay? Expect some unexpected money. Okay? That could be new income. So that could be a new job. You know, somebody might give you a gift or just put some money in your pocket. Okay? I know that's right. I got a, a, a Libra moon. I mean, a Libra rising. So I'm a Scorpio moon. Scorpio uh sun okay libra rise and spirit is telling me to keep on going so after you're an empath very intuitive we got libra energy this is y'all energy okay we got aquarius energy okay i found out the truth exposed somebody found out the truth okay this person is exposed we got virgo energy all right and then the last one um, I want to reconcile, reconnect. I know I keep saying the last one, but this is the last one. I am honestly, truly sorry, making a change. So somebody is making a change. They want to reconcile. They want to reconnect. They found out some type of information about somebody possibly being jealous and envious of you. Okay. This going to be somebody who's stressed, depressed. Okay. All right. But that is the element reading for air.